Welcome to our town board advisory meeting, August 27th, 1.30. Items on the agenda may be taken out of order. The board may combine two or more agenda items for consideration. The board council or council may remove an item from the agenda or delay discussion relating to an item at any time. No action may be taken on any matter not listed on the posted agenda. All planning and zoning matters heard at this meeting are forwarded to the Board of County Commissioners Zoning Commission, <coughs> the BCC, or the Clark County Planning Commission, the PC, for final action. Please turn off or mute all cell phones or other electronic devices. Please take all private conversations outside the room. With a 48-hour advance request, a sign language interpreter or other reasonable efforts to assist the accommodate persons with physical disabilities may be made available by calling 702-455-3530 or TDD at 702-385-7486 or Relay Nevada toll free at 800-326-6868. Supporting material provided to the board members for this meeting may be requested from Tammy Harris at 702-298-0828. Supporting material will also be available at the Clark County Department of Administration Services. Supporting material will be available at, on Clark County's website at clarkcountynv.gov slash Laughlin TAB. Uh, roll call of board members. Uh, Pamela Walker is absent. Fred Doton, absent. Kathy Oates. Here. Herm Walker. Here. And myself, Kathleen Haas, which forms a quorum. Our secretary is Tammy Harris at 702-298-0828 or tammy.harris at clarkcountynv.gov. County Liaison, Mark Moskowitz, M-O-S-K-O-W-I-T-Z, at 702-298-0828 or 702-455-6173. Or you can email at mark.moskowitz, M-O-S-K-O-W-I-T-Z, at clarkcountynv.gov. I would like to... Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Okay, number two, public comment. This is a period devoted to comments by the general public about items on this agenda. No discussion, action, or vote may be taken on this agenda item. You will be afforded the opportunity to speak on an individual public hearing items at the time they are presented. <coughs> if you wish to speak to the board about items within this jurisdiction but not appearing on this agenda, you must wait until the comments by general public period listed at the end of this agenda. Comments will be limited to three minutes. Please step up to the speaker's podium, clearly state your name and address, and spell your last name for the record. If any member of the board wishes to extend the length of this presentation, this will be done by the chairperson for a majority vote. Item number three. Approval of the agenda for August 27, 2024. So moved. Motion, do I have a second? All second. All in favor? Aye. Vote pack carries. Okay, informational items. Receiver report and updates from the South County Liaison, Mark Moskowitz, on any updates from Clark County. Thank you, Chair. Um, just a quick update. I know last week there was a large brush fire. Um, I wanted to thank our, the one that was like right on the river, I want to thank our first responders. Um, it was about 
50 plus acres and um, I got information that in all the re responding agencies we had Clark County responded with four engines three water tenders one rescue and two chief officers Bullhead City responded with two engines National Park Service responded with one engine and one chief officer United States Forest Service responded with one engine and BLM responded with two engines and a helicopter and it was a very coordinated effort with all of our agencies and thankfully the winds were in our favor that day so they were able to control it and um, take care of it so I appreciate all of our first responders that ju jumped into action and took care of it pretty quickly so did they state the origin yet or is that still under investigation I believe it's still under investigation I haven't heard anything if I do hear anything that I can share I'll definitely share it with the board but at this time nothing and um, I know some people might have said that they saw firefighters kind of starting a fire but they were just doing that to create the fire line control yeah to break, control yeah. it so um, they, they were doing that but that helped it so <laughs> what happens is they they control it so when the fire gets there it has nothing to burn it just dies out which is very beneficial so um, yeah that's just a quick update I want to share with everyone Mark, the fire that was yesterday, that, is it in any relation to that fire? I haven't heard anything um, in relation to the fire yesterday, so. Yeah, um, they had one between uh, Bayshore and the homes. Okay, I, will, I can double check and see. Um, the if Morton there's... home. The what? Between Bayshore and the Morton home. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. pretty close to where the other one was. Yeah. Okay, I will check. Thank you. <clears throat> Okay, number two, announcements of upcoming neighborhood meetings or county or committee meetings or events. None at this time. Just yeah. tomorrow we have SBA roundtable right. oh, yeah. and uh, resource at, yep. I think, 2 o'clock. So, yep, so uh, that's correct. Sorry. The Small Business Administration from the White House will be here um, uh, with Susie Lee uh, at, I want to say it's 1.15. They start, yeah. Yeah, and then that's going to go till about... 2.15 and then I think there's a resource fair at the library at 2 p.m. So um, if you'd like to attend that, please do that. Thank you, <laughs> Kathy. Okay, planning and zoning. SDR-24-0405 Riverside Resort and Casino, Inc. Sign design review to increase a wall sign area in conjunction with a resort hotel, Riverside, on 18.43 acres in a CR, commercial resort, zone, generally located <coughs> on the east side of the Casino Drive, 1,400 feet south of State Route 163 within Laughlin. Do we have anyone for this? To present, yeah. <laughs> they can go to the podium and present it. You're up. <laughs> Good afternoon. I'm Michael Bell with Yesco Sign Company. I'm here uh, to represent the Riverside on this project, and I'd be happy to answer any questions that the board may, might have with this. Is this. Is this going over where the valet is? Is this the valet entryway? It is. It is going on that wall. It's replacing the sign that was advertising the movie theater. Yeah, the, the movies. Kids I missed castle. that sign. <laughs> yeah. So this new sign is actually about 200 square feet smaller than that sign that came down. So. Yeah. And the other sign, we, Madam Chair, I think we had a design waiver for that going back at least 20 years that I know of because it was uh, a waiver of development standards as well. Um, so this one's a little bit smaller, but it's digital, so they'll be able to program and have digital format on it. Am I correct? Actually, it's not digital. It's actually non-illuminated. So it's just going to be in a, a metal frame attached to the wall with a flexible face that they'll be able to change that flexible face every so often. So. Okay. Flex graphics. <clears throat> so they do it digitally? No, it's actually a static message. Yes, yeah, so I think they have to print out like a vinyl exactly. banner and then go up and change it with a cherry picker or something like Correct. that. Correct. It'll be a large economy size banner, basically. Okay. Do we have any discussion or questions? No, Madam Chair. None? Okay, then I will call for a vote. Okay. Um, 
Okay, Madam Chair, um, I'll make a motion that we approve um, SDR 240405. Riverside Resort and Casino Incorporated sign design review to increase the wall sign area in conjunction with a resort hotel, uh, Riverside on 18.43 acres with staff recommendations. Okay, we have a motion. We have a second. Any discussion? Aye. All in favor? Aye. Congratulations. Thank you very much. We certainly appreciate it. It's glad to see you, Mr. Bell. You've been around, I don't know, 30 years at least, I think, when it you seems did my closer signage. To a, it seems closer to 100 years. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> I remember working with you 30 years ago when I did my Baskin and Robbins sign, so that's that's 30 years this year. So Yeah, I've been here <laughs> since June of 87. So Okay, yep. <laughs> just for the record, it's Bell, right? B-E-L-L. -E -L. Correct. Okay, perfect. Thank Correct. you so much for, just, for the notes. No problem. All right, thank you all very much. Thank you. Right. Okay, moving on to general business. We don't have any today. Okay, comments by the general public. A period devoted to comments by the general public about matters relevant to the board's jurisdiction will be held. No vote may be taken on a matter not listed on the posted agenda. Comments will be limited to three minutes. Please step up to the speaker's podium, if applicable, Clearly state your name and address and spell your last name for the record. If any member of the board wishes to extend the length of the presentation, this will be done by the chairperson or a majority vote. I, I would like to address a question to, uh, to Mark, basically. Uh, you can capture this either on your comments by the general public comment by a board member. At the last meeting, I'll make such a conclusion as it is. There was a motion made to table. Uh, the motion to expedite uh, preparation of the letters of the Board of County Commissioners to encourage consideration of utilization of funds on deposit for the purpose of moving forward with the problem we're having with uh, permits and the lack of, of storage for water to comply with the state statute. The motion to, to uh, table Period. And uh, it's been a while since I've worked with Robert Sewell's, but I'm of the opinion that to table the motion isn't a final right for a motion. It can be reconsidered, it can be brought up. Uh, and I think that it should be. But what's, what's expeditious? What's expeditious about tabling the motion to encourage the commissioners to explore utilization uh, of the funds? It's an exploratory process. It's not a commitment process. And, and I think as a service to this community, this board should feel an obligation to bring this matter to a head move it forward and, and continue, as it said in the original agenda, expeditiously to prepare the letter and submit it to the Board of County Commissioners. If that can't be done at this meeting or if someone feels it's improper, then I would, in the alternative, suggest that it be agendized the meeting next Tuesday. But my feeling is that this is not the last rights for that particular motion. I feel, as I said before, this board has an obligation to the community uh, to do whatever is in our power 
No, I understand that, but the uh, motion was made to table it because had we voted to approve or deny it, it would have gone forward immediately from that meeting. Our commissioner was standing by to make the loan from the Fort Mojave Development Fund immediately after that meeting. And all of the going forward aspects of it, if we had approved it, he would have authorized the use and the loan to go forward. At the, at the end of our meeting. That would have happened because that was also part of Doha's presentation. And the only thing that I tried to do was to table it, which is something we can pull back, definitely. Um, I, I did do a little research on Robert's rules before I made that motion. And it would allow us to pull it back, but we also, I think it behooves this board to have a presentation from the NGO, which I believe they were trying to get set up for the next meeting, so that they can provide data and information because they weren't in the ability to do that at that last meeting. Well, if I'm hearing you correctly, first of all, my apologies. I made two serious mistakes before coming to the meeting. The first one is I forgot my notebook and folder. That's number one. Number two is, I forgot my hearing aids. Oh, no. <laughs> so my hearing is rather seriously impaired. However, however, and what I suggested to Mark is that this be agendized. Mm -hmm. Definitely. The next meeting. And there is nothing prohibiting doing that. And I think we have that. I, I don't, I'll confirm with Mark, but I think that the NGO, Nevada by Design, were in contact to get together with that meeting, and then at that point we can, you know, pull back off the table so, the so, Fort Mojave, or maybe make a hybrid with the NGO and the Fort Mojave defunds or, or something. But I just, I wanted the board to have that info. Uh, from the NGO, so we, if it's if it's something that the NGO can go forward with USDA funds and it not cost the constituents or or the Fort Mojave Development Funds monies, then then I think we should look at that too. Well, Kathy, I'm just going to point this out. If we're waiting for a report from an engineer who's affiliated with the Water Department, no, Southern Nevada Water Authority. No, they're a non-government entity well, stood up. Oh, yeah, no, no. These guys have been working for more than 10 months well, on the project. I heard the gal talk two years of design. Yeah, that's the, that's the water department. That's not yeah. them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're not represented or they're not a part of it at all. We, yeah, we they're separate. We an engineering professional no. to design a letter to say that we're going to move forward and discharge a responsibility which we as members of the board have for the community at large. So, so just to, to a little clarification, so um, you are correct with it being tabled. Um, with it being tabled by the board, any member of the board can bring it back to an LTAB agenda at any time. Um, to just clarify with that, so what that meant is if it was approved or not, if it was approved, then the next step would be to put it on the Board of County Commissioner's agenda for an action item. Correct. So it wasn't and a And our a commissioner was ready. In my meeting with him before our meeting, he right, was ready right. to go forward that if we approved it that day. So to yeah. put it on the BCC and go forward with that loan. So yeah, then it would go to BCC for public comment and all that. Um, and then you are correct, we have reached out to that Nevada by Design to have them present at the September meeting. Um, but I'll, if you want the the letter of support to be on the September agenda as well, I just need to be informed of that. So is that is that what I'm hearing from Herm, that you want it back on the agenda, or is that you want to so see So basically other in one? that meeting, so we're ex so we can expedite things to pull that off the table, put that back on the agenda along with the NGO, and then have this board make a decision at that point. It, I just want to know. Herm, what, would that, is, that, is that what makes sense to you? In other words, I'll talk loud. Um, to take the item that was tabled, put that back on the agenda along with the NGO presentation that's due to happen in our first meeting in September so that this board can have it as an action item and move forward in whatever direction we choose to take at the next meeting, which is most expeditious. Is that, will that work? Is that, is that what you want? Sure. This board at this time 
is to make a motion to approve what we uh, recommend to Mark on the agendizing of this and, uh, and, and take a vote on it so there's some authority behind what he's doing and what we're doing. Okay, so so I don't know if we can do that. I mean, we're timely for our agenda, am, am I correct, for September? Are we timely in our timelines right now? We can Tam? request to put it on the agenda. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. We're timely, okay. No. Yeah, we can't take a vote in this forum, but she, we have time to make the agenda, the agenda so that we can pull that off the table and bring that back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Makes sense. So it'll be on the agenda. Okay. okay. Next yeah. meeting will be <laughs> September 10th, 2024. I have a motion to adjourn. Second. All second. Thank you. All in favor. All right. Adjourned. I was